I'm at Tonkadale Greenhouse with Jesse today and we are going to talk all about succulents. So first of all, Jesse, what, what is it that defines a succulent? What makes it that kind of plant? Well, succulents, I would say as a group, have very waxy leaves okay. that store water. Oh, perfect. So like simple. aloe might be a yeah, succulent. Okay. Definitely. And you also mentioned earlier when we were talking that they're fairly easy to care for. Is that yeah. true? I say they're definitely low maintenance, low okay. watering. Um, it's almost like the less you care for them, the better they do. Oh, wow. That is my kind of plant because yeah. I am not that great at growing <laughs> plants. So it feels like I'm hearing more and more about succulents. Even my 15 year old daughter loves succulents. So have you noticed a trend or? Yeah, I think they're definitely retro and they're coming back. Well, let's learn how to make a container. You have a beautiful assortment you put together here and it's like a lot of different leaf colors and different heights. Is that important? Yeah, definitely. It's just like when you're doing your outdoor containers for spring, you want something with height, something with drape, and something to fill. Succulents are really cool because you're not necessarily having flowers for color, you're having the foliage for color. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of lime greens, purples, silvery grays, and blues. Which is nice because there's actually then really no downtime. Like mm -hmm. when you have a flowering plant, I mean it flowers and then it, it, it doesn't. Yeah. Yes. So, okay, great. Yeah. So, um, when you have this beautiful container too, I mean, I like the green, oh, this is going to be so pretty. I can already tell when it's put together. Yeah. So what you want to do is first fill your container with, um, either a regular potting soil or a special cactus or succulent mix. Okay. Um, Which is what do you recommend the cactus succulent mix? I would say if you err on the side of overwatering to use a cactus mix. Okay. And it'll dry out faster, but okay. regular potting soil is just fine. Okay, and then the, this obviously we have drainage in the bottom Drain here. Okay, yep. and yep. saucer. That's okay. great. Perfect. Um, so we can just get started. Let's start with our tallest item first. Okay. Usually put that towards the back. Okay. That's called a pencil cactus. Okay, pencil cactus. It it's in the euphorbia family. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> we are learning about succulents today. Yes. Okay, and so I just put the whole, it, it does feel, the soil feels quite dry. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so these, I break it up just like yeah, I would a, no, a normal plant? Definitely. Okay. And then deposit it in here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Great. Okay. So then, you know, we might want something near it to kind of, you know, hold it up in contrast. This is a type of sedum with some okay. pretty orange on it. And is this like a drape? A drape yeah, you one? can kind of angle it okay. uh, over to the side. Okay. Do that. This is beautiful. These do feel really dry. Okay. Yeah, they're not dry for us to make these guys stand up straight. Okay. So yeah, we just keep um, packing them in. I kind of like the this on uh, this side to balance that. Do you Definitely. like that? Okay. That's a type of um, kind of like a portulaca. A what? Um, like a moss rose <laughs> in the moss rose family. Okay. Can you uh, say that? I don't know the exact back. name. <laughs> Let's see if it says on here. Uh, I, I think the tags just say general succulents. Succulents. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of a trailing guy. I like it. And I'm going to be able to keep this alive, you think? I think so. Okay. Oh, that's actually nice. Thing. So then we have maybe, this is uh, a calancho and it's called flapjacks and it gets really pretty red around. That would look nice. Maybe even by. Maybe in the middle kind yeah. of to hold up. Oh, perfect. His friend, pencil cactus, <laughs> who's falling over. <laughs> He's all over the place. He's all willy nilly. Okay. All right. And then we just have a few more. So this container is really full, but that's going to be okay? Yeah, it's okay. You know, you can kind of trim them back to keep them in shape. Um, we do have some space in between them, which is great. Okay. Um, uh, it's, it, it, it is gardening, so indoor gardening. So you might at some point have to take them out. Transplant. Maybe create two containers, okay. buy a few new fresh ones. Okay. All that jazz. All right. So then we just have a few left. Maybe we just arrange these three smaller ones in the front. Yeah. Okay. This is another type of calancho with these fuzzy leaves and I love the brown. Oh yeah. Oh, they are really fuzzy. So that is a little, that is smaller for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is an Echeveria. All the succulents that kind of look like a flower head, those are all in the Echeveria family. Okay. So you can sound really awesome when you're asking for an Echeveria. Mm -hmm. I am going to try to sound awesome. I sound awesome all the time. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay, I'm going to put this getting right in the front. Sure. Like that. Okay. And then lastly, another little blue sedum. I like this. He's quite cute. Yes, he is. Okay. So those are all, wow. I was thinking that, was that they wouldn't all fit. That was easy. That was very easy. Okay. 
Now do we fill them with soil? Yeah, we just edit it a little bit here to make sure everybody's, so we don't, we Stable. need to just kind of make sure everybody's covered with dirt. We had plenty of dirt in there. We might put a few more handfuls just around okay. the edges. Well, especially this guy in the back. Yeah. You know, to get everybody right nice and secure. You yep. know, you'd want to water it in really well the first time. Okay. And then you don't have to, but if you wanted to, we can go, you could put some That was a pretty because it's, we've, we've, on got, top. we've got the green pot and then all this green, it might kind of break it up a yeah. little bit. Yeah, so we can so. just cover the soil with rock. It makes it look kind of deserty, maybe. Mm -hmm. You could use sand on top, or you could use different size rocks, which would be kind of cute too. Or yeah, objects. Show, yeah, that's that looks pretty. Yeah. Well, this has been easy, mm -hmm. and this is beautiful. And I do think I'll be able to keep it alive based on what you've told me. How much light, though? Is there a lot of light? I'd say bright indirect light is okay. probably the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much for hosting us today and sure. giving us all this great information on succulents. To learn more about succulents and how to grow your own succulent garden, visit our website.